And of course, a shooting makes you think back to other mass shootings that we've experienced. Three years ago, Springfield native Matt McQuinn was shot and killed in Aurora, Colorado. Matt, of course, one of 12 people who died when a gunman sprayed a movie theater with bullets. Two News reporter Tyler Yutska spoke to his mom today about the two mass shootings just in the past week in an interview you're seeing only on two. Well, when Jerry Jackson sees on TV that there's been another mass shooting, she says her mind automati automatically goes to the victims' families. Because I know how we, ha we have been traumatized. And it's not just us, but it's the kids that uh, Matt went to school with. It was the friends that he um, hung around with, his co-workers. It just ripples down to everybody. Jerry Jackson's son, Matt, was killed in the Aurora, Colorado theater shooting in 2012. What happened at Inland Regional Center on Wednesday was the second mass shooting within a week's time. The one before that was at a Planned Parenthood in Colorado Springs the day after Thanksgiving. As far as, you know, the whole community, I think everybody's starting to get scared on, you know, where is it going to be next? How many, you know, are, are there going to be this week? As she prepares for the third holiday season without her son, she says this time of year hasn't gotten any easier. People ask me, my mom and Dave ask me, what do you want for Christmas? I don't want anything because I know the only thing I want, nobody can do, and that's to bring my son back. Calling the gun violence in America out of control, Jackson says lawmakers have to do something to stop innocent lives from being taken and says people on both sides of the gun control debate need to find some common ground. I understand that it's our right, but if we're going to misuse that, then you should, be have, you should have that right taken away. But as far as one extreme to the other, yes, I believe that there has to be something worked out that everybody can give and take on, on issues like this. I mean, it, it has to stop somewhere. And uh, I wish I had a magic wand that we could just stop it. And the gunman in the Aurora theater shooting was sentenced to life in prison last August. Since then, Jackson's husband has returned to work, but she says she's not able to yet. Jackson says she remains hopeful that changes regarding gun control will be made, but doesn't anticipate them anytime soon. Tyler Yutska, 5 on 2.